Hello, my beauties. Thank you. It's another beautiful day. You know what they say about marriage? This one topic is something that people should not always be quick to judge, especially when you do not know the whole history, you know, the whole story and all. But unfortunately, we see that most times people are very quick to judge others, you know, and yeah the thing is once you make your matter public then tongues are about to speak you know tongues are bound to speak whether they know anything about it or not but the thing is those who are wearing the shoes surely do know where exactly and how exactly it pinches them now with the two-faced idiot saga we all know the story or most Nigerians do know the story behind Two-Face, you know, before marrying Annie Markley, um, already he had baby mamas and afterwards they still reconciled, even though as he was hanging on to these baby mamas and carrying all out with his duties of uh, so many girlfriends and all, Annie has always been in the picture. In fact, they were together since or before Annie clocked 18 years. You can imagine they've come a long way. They were, they were, I think I would say secondary school lovers. Yeah, that's, that's the early story those days, you know, they've been together for a long time. So they understood themselves and, but you know, um, Two-Face, went into musical line and I wouldn't say he got carried away with fame because he's obviously not the only guy who who got into fame through the celebrity lifestyle so I don't know I think he just isn't able to manage himself with ladies he possibly doesn't know how to control himself and so he was always with women and then thereby making babies not just that he has um relationship with these people or use his condom, but no, he goes in just like that, unprotected, unsettled, and babies come forth. Not just one, not just two, not just three, you know. And at the end, somehow, I think I would say because of love, because Annie, um, from outside view, is what you would call a complete woman. She, she came from a background that was okay, and um, you know, she is hardworking as a person. And so, I think from my own perspective, I think it's love, you know. They settled it. They stuck together. They kept the boat rolling. But as a woman, how do you deal with different women with baby mamas, you know? Different women with all children for your husband. And they cannot be completely wiped out. He has to be there for his kids. And from what we learned, he goes visiting, which is okay. But to pass a night there and... You know, having some f photos that are still unappealing, you know, like just different things coming up. It was too much for the woman. It was too much. She was really taking in a lot, you know, and not just that. You can imagine the number of times calls come in. You're not dealing with one woman from all of these women. They're either speaking of child a or child b and and all of those you know so people are blaming her and saying all of so so many things but i think they are not being fair you know they they are thinking so in such a myopic way that that's what i think because it's a whole lot in in a marriage for yourselves you you already have yourselves to deal with so whereby you are having another whole family's not even extended, but still together. These are the kids for your husband. So it's it's not easy. A lot is already there. And then the, the Two-Faces brother is saying, uh, Annie's, Annie's fetish, the, the brother is sick and miserable at the moment because of Annie. But I don't think so. That That's not the truth. Yeah, your brother played his card from his own view by himself with his hands and, and whole body. And now the reactions are, are paving off and you're looking for whom to blame. How can he have so much peace 
when the woman in his life is being threatened by all of these people. You, you, you get the point. I, I don't know how people think sometimes, but there's more to it. It's not just about calling names and all. If she's really fetish, she would do what fetish people do. They lock up their guys, you know. They, they do things that really called fetish. They guide their, their whole, you know, their whole environment. So that story that touches the, uh, the heart doesn't crop up. But no, she's, she's just living her life. And like every other person out there hoping for the best for her and her family. But the peace, how, how can they hold that peace together that holds a family? With all the troubles from outside, Two-Face used his hands to bring down on himself what, what he's seeing right now. And then, uh, leave me your opinions in the comment section below. <laughs> so, um, yes, a very good morning. And the next one is Tonto DK's Palava. Tonto DK is just like every other woman who's trying hard to find love here and there. And it just hasn't clicked. Yeah, and, and we forget that sometimes when people come into a relationship, they're coming for different perspectives, you know, dif different ideas in mind. They, they, there's something they want. And sometimes you do not know. I learned that the relationship has been on for quite a while. And that's why she deemed it fit to bring it into the limelight. But yeah, now it's what it is. I, I just pray that she finds the strength to move on and all because... She asking the guy to just be a father figure for her son. I mean, it's it's not the best thing. If he's not there, then he's not there. You know, I, I she she's at the moment vulnerable and people can see through. And it's not good for her and that little prince that she's got there. You know, her little boy. Because they both need stability. They, they both need... that. That's why, you know, sometimes people... Because they are celebrities, people tend to misinterpret lots of things. And because it's out there, I had a woman say she cannot be with a man. Why would you say that? Why would you say she can't, she can't be with a man? Because that most celebrities are like that. We also have lots of celebrities who are with your man for a long time and they are still there. I mean, where is that? There's no perfect perfect life that perfection you you make the perfection you call for it your perfection your ability to 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 handle a situation together to keep peace in your home in your environment that that's the perfection you give to solve things out so if there are misunderstandings and the other one's saying i don't want it because this is what i didn't want just let him go, let her go. He or she will find what they want. And you will also find the one you want. One who's going to say, yes, I've seen you. I've known your person and I'm willing to stay. We can work it out together. That's what relationship is. You don't force it. You don't have to kill yourself. Right? She was crying and begging. It's possible she was under any kind of influence or she just loved that guy. I'm thinking she has found the one, but unfortunately it's turning out like